Welcome to Chasing Currents. In this video, we hope to pass on some of the information that we've gained relating to the recent orca interactions with sailboats between the waters of the Strait of Gibraltar in South Spain and Galicia, Northern Spain. A few of you asked us questions and we hope to answer some of them with information from Ruth Estevan and Orca Iberica. If you didn't already know, we recently sailed from England to Spain and became becalmed about 30 nautical miles off the coast of northern Spain due to a foul prop at 3am on the 19th of July. Through the dark and the fog, we saw an orca appear at the back of the boat. Within a minute, we felt either two or three orcas underneath the boat, which were pushing into our hull and spinning the boat around in circles. Due to our felled prop, we had already called a rescue vessel and upon its arrival, the whales left. Though they didn't seem to be targeting our rudder, that is a major concern to sailors at the minute. Several individuals of a danger subpopulation of killer whales in the Iberian Peninsula started to show a disruptive behaviour in 2020, interacting boats. Most interactions involve sailing vessels and animals were reported and recorded bumping, pushing and rotating the boats. In some cases, uh, those interactions cause uh, damages at the stern of the boat, mainly in their fragile moving, moving parts. Interactions have been recorded between the waters of uh, the Strait of uh, Gibraltar in southern Spain and Galicia in northern Spain, including the coast all along uh, Portugal. There is also an interaction recorded in the Atlantic waters of the Moroccan coast and another in France. Mm -hmm. It's a big family uh -huh. uh, with different sub-families. Yeah. And apparently what they do is uh, after winter, like February or so, they go to Gibraltar mm. to eat tuna. This, uh, these orcas here, they eat tuna. Yeah. In other parts of the world they eat many other things, but uh, Iberian orcas are specialized eating tuna. Mm. So they go to Gibraltar and that's the, in March, April, it's the um, tuna fishing time, it's a big event. Yeah. Because they f fish it like in a traditional way and sometimes uh, they have problems with orcas because they steal the tuna yeah. from the fishing gears. Yeah. And when the tuna migrates north, a uh, orca follows them yeah. and they go up through the coast of Portugal mm -hmm. and then Galicia. And then we don't know because they apparently they go to open sea. Mm. So since we have no records, we don't know where yeah, they go. Yeah. But they are not on the coast. If yeah. not, we can yeah. see. There are only 50 Gibraltar orca whales and they are critically endangered. The primary food source of this group of orca whales is bluefin tuna, which are extremely overfished. The food shortage and polluted environment in Gibraltar is the reason these orca whales are endangered. Though biologists are unable to give a definitive explanation, there are numerous theories. One of the most common theories we came across is as follows. Apparently, Last year, in Gibraltar, they had problems with one uh, vessel. They were fishing, like sports fishing, mm. uh, fishing tuna. And apparently, one of the orcas tried to steal the tuna, and the sailorman uh, hit her. Oh. Apparently. Uh, oh, that's be Two of them, because yeah. two of them had injuries on the back. Yeah. Yeah. One had like a, like a cut, mm -hmm. and another one had a uh, punch. I think it's one of the theories is that they associate ves yeah. vessels with bad people yeah. and they started um, chasing them. Yeah. Mm. A theory was that uh, youngsters were um, practicing the hunting strategies, yeah. mm. like following a boat as if it was prey. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes they do, they, they approach the boat uh, really silent and like hunting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if it was true, they could have done that years before. According to Ruth, the Spanish government are keen to help. An extensive conservation plan is already in place and you can read the full information at the link included in the bio. Some mitigation actions were implemented, such as a uh, temporarily forbidden of uh, navigation for sailing boats in uh, the northern Spain last year, and uh, actually now in August uh, this year in uh, the Strait of Gibraltar. 
We had lots of questions from you guys asking whether other deterrents would work, such as oil slicks in the water, pouring ammonia in the water, uh, and other things similar to this. Orca Iberica still suggests that the recommended guidance is the safest option and urge all cruisers to follow the protocol as follows. We develop a safety protocol to be followed when uh, encountered with the kilowaves, which is based in the reviewing of uh, testimonies and videos of interactions that the sailors have been recording. First thing is uh, to try to stay calm, leave the wheel loose, uh, because otherwise you can get injured at the animals tend to bump uh, suddenly their rudder. Switch off the autopilot, and all of the electric equipment, except for the VHF. Most of the times, uh, when the boat stopped, even the sails were put down, the animals get calmer, lose interest and leave the boat, so proceed this way. And uh, get in contact with the local marine uh, authorities uh, by radio, they will suggest you how to continue. Meanwhile, try to stay calm and feel as much as you can uh, what is happening. And uh, whenever everything is passed, get in contact with us uh, at the gt.orcas.ibericas at gmail.com. Your testimony and videos can uh, be helpful for other sailors. So how worried should you be and what is the likelihood of an interaction actually happening in this area? So there's no definitive answer, but on the 8th of August it was reported that there was 56 orca interactions since March this year and of those, 26 needed a rescue. A quick Google tells us that 300 ships cross the Gibraltar Strait every single day. That's one ship every five minutes. This does include fishing vessels as well, so it's not an exact science, but you get the picture. It's one of the busiest waterways in the world. Now, absolutely, it is worth being safe, but not every sailboat is gonna have an interaction and most boats probably won't even see an orca. One thing that has united scientists is that the stress on these endangered orcas as they navigate life through a major shipping route needs to be assessed. Food scarcity, injuries, pollution have all left this population fighting for survival. And scientists have called out to the media to focus information on knowledge and conservation rather than creating animosity towards the orcas. Our own opinions actually align with all of this and we believe it's just animals in the wild being wild animals. There are dangers every single time people go out into a wild environment and especially going out to sea there are a lot more man-made dangers that we're cautious of rather than the wildlife that we're so fortunate to sometimes see. I grew up admiring orca whales. They're absolutely amazing creatures. And even after this experience, my admiration for them is only greater. I think they're really interesting and I think that they do need to be protected. The damage that we think that humanity has done to our oceans is much more vast than anything that the animal kingdom is trying to throw back at us. So we believe that if we protect these animals and protect our environments, that things should start to correct themselves. We think it's important to have a healthy discussion around topics like this and while you might not agree with us um, please feel free to put any comments and opinions and we'll get back to you uh, as soon as we can. We obviously love the ocean, we live on the ocean, it's a big big part of our life now and we're always going to be protective of it where we can um, but we'd love to hear your thoughts. If you found this video helpful please share it with any other people that you think might find this useful. All information will be in the bio that you need to know from this video. I just want to thank absolutely everyone that supported us so far on this journey. Honestly, you guys are amazing. So thank you so, so much and we'll see you again soon.